it is important to rename your images always okay well i guess we are okay with that so i guess i can just hide this image okay um then we're going to continue with the funny part that it's the blocks for the blocks basically we are going to modify the left and right okay uh, events so when we go to the right when we go to the left so what it's going to happen or what we are going to add okay so we're going to use some uh, simple things okay so we're going to use remember the property that we just created that is is jumping so basically we are going to modify the in this case the customs okay when the player it is not jumping when the property it is set in zero okay and we're going to create a loop because we want to go from the third four fifth six then go again to third four fifth six okay so basically that is the thing that we want to do so well to do that we are going to create here a condition after when right arrow repeat until we are going to insert a condition so the condition it will be if else so we look for if else then we are going to insert first we need to check if the player it is jumping or not so and we are going to select if player so is jumping equals to zero remember that zero for us in this case it means like it is not jumping okay so now we are going to insert inside this one but what happens if the player is jumping well we are going to change the customs now um, what happened if the player is jumping well we're going to use the jumping um, custom so we're going to go here and we're going to insert here night jumping so we're going to use this condition when the player it is like jumping when it's like is jumping equals to one so that's why we use the else so now inside this if is jumping we are going to insert another if else because now we want to create a loop okay so we want to create a loop so um we are going to insert it here and we're going to insert here a condition so the condition will be here we're going to go to operators and we're going to use first um, bigger than okay so and we're going to add it here now there is a property here in loops that if you go down that it's the number of the custom so we're going to make it visible over there for example this is the number six if you go here to customs you have number two number three four five six so we are going to look over the number three to six so we are going to create here some if conditions to do that so the first thing is just to set uh if the number of the custom we're going to drag this guy here and then we are going to select if the number it is bigger than two why because two it is the jumping one so we start the walking cycle from three so that's why we use that if custom it is bigger than two and also okay if the custom okay it is like less than which is the last one six so we are going to use here and so we are going to insert that one and we're going to use here less and we're going to use again custom and the max uh, the last uh, frame for the walking cycle it is six so we are going to insert this one here when we meet uh, these conditions we are going to change the custom for our night so um, basically the idea it is that we are going to change it so we are going to say go to a uh, next custom we have here the property 
next custom then we are going to give some uh, time so we are going to use here wait seconds and we're going to one second is mm, too much so we're going to use 0 0.1 that's it okay now what happens when we have something more uh, I mean less than two or something when we get to the, the limits of this uh, condition well we are going to switch okay switch the custom to night walking one so when we get to six we are going to return to one and because I mean to night walking one and because night walking one it is bigger than a uh, two so we're going to continue now with this loop again okay so we're going to change this to night walking one okay so just let me reduce this I hope that it's visible for you so here now there is another thing also we need to wait one point second here when we change this custom here so we are like resetting everything so we are starting from two seats and then we start again little by little so 0 0.1 again and probably this is uh, like okay so now let's try it so we are going to stop everything we are going to start and we were using right so let's check with right that's it if you check now it's okay now if we go to left we haven't had anything to left so we have this walking cycle very simple walking cycle now what if now we just can duplicate everything uh, starting from here so you just shift and click duplicate then you just drag it and insert it in here then we go here and i just duplicated guys okay so now let's check what happens now it is working because remember we are just using the set rotation style left to right so we are using the same frames we just mirror them now if you check it moves really fast okay and it moves not so it is not going very far so we can change that here if we go here to our properties for uh, our night we are going to check uh, ah, in here sorry change by minus 10 and in right change x by 10 just to make it not so slow because it's moving really fast the animation but it's not like uh, moving a lot to the right or to the left that's okay and that's it if then we can increase this to probably 13 and probably minus 13 just to see if it looks better then we go here stop I guess it looks better also you can check the time here what happens when I just let it lie one second so let's try it with one second to the right and one okay so one second to the right okay you can go very slow that so that's why i use point one or probably we can use 0 0.2 to 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 test 0 0.2 you need to adjust this thing so this is 0 0.1 and this is 0 0.2 i don't know but i like more this one the 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 0 0.1 now if we check the night now we can do that we can walk left right and we can jump probably it's jumping very high or a night and also you can make something that you can think about it I'm not going ah check for example when I land it stays in this position okay in the jumping position so why not uh, to change that 
And when you are like um, not uh, like jumping, okay, so we want you to switch to the original position. So and if you check in the blocks, remember we have if the position it is going to the ground, uh, to the yes, it is touching the ground. So we are going to go to night standing. And that's it. And as I told you, maybe it's a night. It is very hard that a knight jumps a lot with that kind of armor. So probably we set the velocity to 30. So that's the good thing about these variables. You can have control about your a player now it is not jumping too much obviously it depends on your game then we can reduce the gravity also minus three that is almost the same so you can uh, change the values minus one to see what's happening I guess not. So probably we increase just. But I guess that's okay. Then minus 4.5 as it was at the beginning. Probably this to 35. Not 40, but 35. I guess that's okay. So. And I guess that's all for this tutorial, okay? So I hope you like this tutorial and the idea about making a walking cycle. And we were using just a very simple character that we have in the library, okay? And we created the frames, guys, remember? We just created the frames, moving some things here, ungrouping, okay? And then we just uh, using something, some image of reference, okay? You can make some more complicated uh, walking cycles. So also maybe when we do stop, probably you can return to the original position. And also with this one, okay, you can add some conditions, okay? So for example, imagine that when you jump, you can add some animation to the jumping thing. You can also do that. Probably that is the night uh, spins in the air, okay? So maybe that that is something for the next tutorial. Um, then we will add more things to this uh, platform. Uh, tutorials or basic platform tutorial for scratch i hope you enjoyed this video please uh, don't forget to like this video and to share it with your friends or with someone who's learning scratch okay so my name is eduardo i will see you next time thank you guys